All right, so, uh, so today I'm going to talk about Pythagorean theory and its application. So uh, the Pythagorean theory says that if you have a triangle and the triangle, it's a right triangle, if and only if uh, a squared, like in this case, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, okay? So it is a right triangle. If only if, uh, a square plus b square equals c square. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the that is a uh, uh, it. These are two statements here. Uh, one is if it's right triangle, then a square plus b square equals uh, c square. And conversely, um, if uh, if it's uh, if it is a square plus b square, you know, equals c square. This holds then it must be right triangle because this statement also important. Sometimes you are given triangle with a, with a given three sides and uh, you're trying to find the area of the triangle. Then you find out uh, in general, it's complicated, right? Now, if you realize this is a right triangle, right? Then uh, then you just use a, use a, you know, the proper right triangle and A times B divided by two gives the area, okay? That is a, a that is uh, 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 the sec, you know, the, the we call the converse statement of the right, uh, Pythagorean theory. Okay, now there are several proofs about uh, Pythagorean uh, about uh, the Pythagorean theory, and you can uh, you can at least you should know one of the proofs. Okay, at least you should know one of the proofs, and. Uh, so here I want to present a proof using similarity of the triangle. Okay, so how many right triangles here right now? Right, you have a three, uh, we assume that this is a right triangle. Then you have a three right triangles here, okay? So the right triangle, and this is a triangle A, B, C, okay? And this should be similar to um, a small triangle A, C, D, okay? So because this is a good I, I'm alpha and that would be alpha, okay? So this is a beta, it's the same beta. So uh, this, uh, if it's A, B, C, then uh, A, B, C, then would be A, C, uh, D, okay? And then this is also similar to the triangle uh, C, B, D, okay? So, so the, so I also have the corresponding sides here, okay? So I'm going to put A here and B here and C here, okay? And also uh, uh, AC. So using the similarity of triangle, right? Then uh, then you have some, uh, 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 you know, then you look at the corresponding ratios, okay? The corresponding ratios that should be equal, okay? So you get, uh, you will get, let me show you how do we get AC square. AC is going to be uh, AB times uh, AD, okay? So AC, uh, yeah, so let's, let me call this one X, that'd be Y, okay? Right, so this is X and this is Y. I'm going to use a similarity. Uh, let me erase this. So uh, A over C, right? So, so using this two similarity of these two triangles, A over C, okay? And this is, uh, and there's, this is going to be X over A, okay? So why? Because we have the two triangle, uh, and this is a one, right? This is the A, that's a C. Another triangle, it's a similar, it's a smaller. Okay, this is giving me X, this is giving me A. So that's why A over C compares those two sides is going to be uh, X over A. So that's why, how do you get this, right? And another one is um, B and this, also we have the similar triangle here. 
uh, this is going to be and B and uh, and this is Y, right? Then you compare with the larger one, right? And that is going to be uh, B over Y, right? Equals right, B, uh, yeah, B over Y, that's a B, right? B over Y equals C over Y, C over B, okay? So that implies B square equals YC. And this implies A square equals XC, okay? So now you add them together, A square plus B square equals XC plus YC. Okay. Then you have a common fact, X plus Y, it's a C. X plus Y is going to just C. So it's a C times C, it's a C square, okay? So there are many proofs that just I said, we should at least know one of the proofs. The reason I want to use this, uh, I'll prove it using similarity because we want to go over the similarity of triangles, okay? Uh, whenever there, yeah, if you are given a right triangle, you draw the altitude and then you will get three similar triangles, okay? So those are the time. All right, uh, there is an important property where we get the right triangles. If, if uh, AB is the diameter of the circle, okay, if AB is diameter of circle, then then this is always as a triangle, okay? So if AB is, uh, is a diameter of the circle, then, then the angle ACB is gonna be 90 degrees. So it's a right triangle always, okay? And because of that, uh, if o, this is a center, then, uh, then uh, an o, OB, OA equals OB equals OC because of radius, okay. So that is a, a important property. We should know that about, about this. Whenever the triangle inside a, a circle, if the hypotenuse is the diameter of the circle, then this is must be a right, it must be a right uh, uh, triangle, okay? And more general, and I hope you remember, you know, more general, if you have a, a circle here, and this is take an arbitrary point, uh, a and B, and that's a C, and that's O, and you draw the line here, okay? If this is a, a alpha, this is a beta, then beta is gonna be half of alpha, okay? It doesn't matter the location of the point C, doesn't matter the location of point C. And when you move the C around the circle, as long as A, B are fixed, and the angle will be never changed. You can do some experiment when you get home, okay? It's not easy to prove. Think about how to prove it, okay? But you can draw a circle and it fix two point, use a, use a, use a, use a string, okay? And you move, uh, you move the point around, C around the circle to see if there any change of the angle. And you find out that there's no change, okay? And uh, this is a good experiment. Then you try to, uh, try to, if it's not, if, if it's independent location point C, then it's easy in some special case, you can easily can see this must be half of the alpha, okay? Uh, 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 okay. So let's take a look at the following problem. And uh, we're trying to prove uh, this is application, okay? Pythagorean theory. Uh, the triangle ABC is, uh, ABC is a right triangle. That means the C is a 90 degree, okay? We want to show that AD uh, equals AD squared plus B squared, okay? Equals AB squared plus D squared, okay? AB squared plus D, D squared, okay? So how do we, uh, how do we prove this? Okay. How do we prove this? Well, uh, we, we have a two, uh, yeah, we have a, a, there are several right triangles here. You just apply the, you, of course you have to draw addition line there from E to D, right? So whenever you give a right triangle and you want to prove some identity, if you have a new crew, right? You just write down all the possible identities coming from uh, applying the, yeah, find the right triangle there. And you write down all the ident uh, uh, identities coming from in the Pythagorean theory then use the algebra 
trying to prove this is true. Okay, so uh, so we can have uh, let's look at the triangle A ABC, right? ABC is the right triangle, right? So ABC ABC is a right triangle. Right. Now sometimes you have to draw addition line. Sometimes uh, it's already given, so you don't need to draw the chain. Okay, later we will see some problems. You needed to draw addition lines. Okay, so this is a right triangle. So there are four, you know, you have, so for you have AC square plus DC square equals, equals ED square, right? DE square. Okay, so we already have a DE, DE here, right? So this is a DE and that's a DE here. See? And how do you get AB, AB, right? So we also, uh, EB, uh, EBC, another triangle we, try, we can try, EBC. Another triangle we can, right? So the triangle EBC is also right triangle. Okay, so therefore you have EC square, right, plus uh, CB square and equals EB square, okay? So you have, uh, <clears throat> so now you have a many identities you're gonna get, right? Right. All right, so how do we use the algebra? The rest of part is just algebra, right? So we can, uh, this is equation one, equation two, and, uh, Yeah, equation one, equation two, uh, we trying to, so AC, right? AC plus uh, CB here. Now see, these two will get, add them together, you get AB squared. So you just add, add them together, what do you get? You will get AC squared plus DC squared, EC squared and CB squared. Here DE squared, EB squared, okay? So EB squared, uh, DE squared. So then, uh, uh, yeah, then you will get, okay, so we are going to AC, let me double check, okay, AC plus DC equals, uh, yeah, AC plus DC equals AD, not, not D, I'm sorry, that was, uh, it's not, uh, yeah, AC, yeah, AC, so that should be DC. AD, yeah, that was a, uh, yeah, that was my mistake. So AD, yeah, yeah, yeah because we were looking to triangle ADC, that's right. All right, so when you look at this too, right? And uh, then you will see that AC, okay? AC plus BC, right? That gives you, that gives the AB squared. That gives AB squared. Okay, then DC plus ED. DC plus EC is e, uh, ED squared. So that's why you get AB squared plus ED squared or DE squared. Okay. And then the right hand side is just AB square and uh, EB or DB, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, uh, so you just try to find right triangles and apply the Pythagorean theory, and you get a bunch of algebra equations, and you just add them together or subtraction, you know, do addition, and finally you prove it. Okay. And this is just a review about, you know, how, how do we, uh, how do we, Prove some identities, right? So you already given the identity. We want to prove it, and uh, and uh, uh, yeah, you just look for the right triangles. Okay. Now uh, there is a important class of uh, 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 right triangles. All the uh, all the edge lenses are integers. Those are called the Pythagorean triples. Okay, a Pythagorean triple is an ordered triple of ABC of a three positive integers. 
such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if a, b, c are relatively prime, that means you cannot divide by two or three, you know, all of them. And this called, the triple is called a uh, primitive. Primitive. So, so, uh, so there's a list of them. Okay, like a three square plus four square equals five square. Eight square plus 15 square equals 17 square. How do you get this? I think we just need to prove this identity. Okay, and you let n to be integer, you can get all of this. Okay, and it's easy to prove. Uh, yeah, how do you prove that? Just expand on the both sides, prove identity. How do you prove identity, right? You just expand on both sides. Okay, uh, is the left hand side is going to be 4n square plus n square minus 1 squares n to the fourth power minus 2n square plus 1, right? All right, so after you simplify it, I get 2n square plus 1. Then the right hand side is n square squared n to the fourth power. It's 2n squared plus 1. So clearly left equals right. But, but this, is a, this is a good, you know, we can have a, as long as n is the integer, right? You get n squared minus 1, n squared plus 1. So this is always a right triangle, okay? n is any number. It's not necessarily to be integer. Right, so this this identity is very important. If you try to figure out some special Pythagorean triple or uh, right triangle with integer side lenses, use this identity. Guarantee you can get lots of them. Okay, and uh, and this is a, according to the above identity, we know that this must be a right triangle if it's three sides depends on n by these formulas, and then you can get, for example. Uh, if n equals, uh, if n equals, let's say, n equals uh, 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 seven, I'm gonna just choose seven, okay? So what you get, what you get is a uh, 14 square plus seven square minus one, seven square, it's a 48. And then seven square plus one is 50. Now this is a 14, 48, 50, those are not, it's they are, they're divided by two. So you should simplify it to seven square plus uh, 24 square equals 25 square. Okay, where it is, right? You know, this is the one we have here. I just show you how do we get this. Okay, so you can try when you, when you, when you get home and you know, look at use this identity, you can get all the special rather triangles using this identity. And you by choosing different uh, uh, values of n, n could be seven, could be eight, could be nine, could be ten. Then sometimes you have to divide by two, okay, all the sides, okay. Sometimes you know when n is the other number, you probably have to divide by two, yeah. And uh, and that's okay. Then you simplify it to seven square plus twenty four square equals twenty five square. Okay? So this is a, uh, uh, an important identity. Okay, now we are going to start uh, uh, solve some problem series problem using the Pythagorean theory. Okay, so given a right triangle, what do we want to do here? We know the hypotenuse is two. We know the area is also okay uh, two. So here's a and the b and the c equals this. So you write down this become an algebraic problem actually. Okay, you write down all this relation. You have three sides, A, B, C, right? So you write down what is given. You are given, okay, C equals two. You are given A times B divided by two equals two. But that's not uh, the only equations. You also have A squared plus B squared equals C squared because it's a right triangle. This is a hidden identity, okay? This is a hidden identity. So we have to, uh, yeah, we have to uh, uh, use this, this hit identity. So now you have, actually you have a three equations and uh, three equations, three unknowns. So basically you can, you can find it, okay? You can solve for them. 
right? I think you can determine the value of a C. Uh, now the value of A plus B, okay? So you want to find out, you want to find out A plus B and plus C is a parameter, right? But you already know C, so you just need to find A plus B. That's the algebraic problem becomes. So I did that you write down all the given information first, and then you transfer the geometric problem to an algebraic problem, okay? You don't need to find the value for A and B and C, each individual. All you need to do is trying to find, you look at this identity, two, C is already given too. So it's sufficient to find AB, okay? The most important identity we are going to use is the A plus B square because A square plus B square and the plus two AB. So this is a identity, right? And the A square plus B square is going to be C square, right? Spargrin theory and plus two AB. So what is C? C is two, two square. What is uh, a, a times B? A times B based on the above equation is just four, right? Okay. So total is 12, right? Eight, yeah. Okay. So, uh, right, so eight, So, uh, so you multiply this out, right? Then you get uh, eight plus four is 12. So now from here, you get a, a, a plus B, okay, A plus B. Okay, so now, uh, yeah. So you, if you're given a right triangle, okay? So there's always a hidden equation, which is called Pythagorean theory, right? Come from, and you label all the sides, A, B, C, and you write down what is given, okay? Well, your experience you're given in two information, hypotenuse equal two, so C equal two, areas equal two, so A times B should be equal four. Then the heating equation A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we have to use, an, uh, and this is a very useful formula, A plus B squared equals A squared plus B squared, okay? Plus two AB. So from here, A plus B is gonna be square root 12. It's gonna be uh, two square root three, and I think now you solve problem. You don't need to find the value of A and B. Just find the value A plus B. So the parameter is two square root three plus two. Okay. All right. Okay, Wait, um, excuse right. me. Wait, um, isn't C square right, plus so, A B? So uh, here's the next problem. Yeah, let's take a look at this problem first. I, I'm going to slow down, okay? So the pri this time the parameter is given. This is right the triangle. The parameter is given. And the length of the attitude is 24. It's also given. And to the hypotenuse, right? 24. The parameter is 120. We want to find the area. So what are you going to do? Remember, this is a right triangle. You have to use the right triangle. Okay? So how many equations are going? Write down the equation, right? So you write on the equation, A plus B plus C equals 120, right? Right, parameter, transfer the statement. The parameter is going to be 120. The length of the attitude is, is 24. I, I don't have that one. And uh, we have to use that, right? Okay, and at least I have a hidden Equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right. So now what? We have to find the area. The area is going to be half of a times b. Right? Right. Okay, we need the equations. Okay, we need the equations. My question is, can you determine the value of C? I think yes, right? Again, you know, 
this is useful for identity A plus B square is A square plus B square plus two AB, okay? Right? Maybe we can find it. Then you say, well, why, uh, uh, why we can uh, find the, we haven't used uh, the condition called the attitude to, right? We haven't used the condition, the attitude to, uh, attitude, sorry, to the hypotenuse, hypotenuse. So you can try use the area is going to be also is going to be half of, right? Twenty four times c. Do you agree? Yeah. So as long as you find the value of the c, then you get the area, because the air the triangle the area is going to be there are two different ways to find the area, right? The attitude times the base base of c. All right. So now A plus B, I, I think I'm going to get the equation in C. So if I find the C, then I'm done. But the AB can be converted to, yeah, let's see. A plus B is going to be 120 minus C. Do you agree? Because the first equation we use it. And A squared plus B squared is C squared. And how about 2AB? I think a 2AB is going to be uh, 2AB here. Uh, well, we can, we can, uh, we can find, uh, change it, right? Yeah. So AB is going to be 24 times C. AB is 24 times C, okay? 2AB is a 48 times C. Yeah, because this from here is AB equals 24C. Okay, so from here you get, uh, you, you find the C. Okay, once you find the C, you can solve the problem. Okay, so it's going to be 120 square minus uh, 240 C plus C square equals C square 48 C and C square canceled out. Okay, uh, then uh, I move the term 128 square here, 48 C plus 240 C. Uh, that is going to be 288C. Okay, so from here, I got the value of 120 square over 288. Now you can simplify it, right? But anyway, I got C. Once I got a C, I can, uh, I can get the area, right? Area is uh, 12 times C, right? So I did not have time to simplify it. Okay, 12 times C, right? So it's 12. Uh, C is going to be 120 square over 288. So you just simplify this expression. And I think it's, uh, after you simplify it, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be uh, 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 six, 600. Okay, so you, anyway, that is a formula. That's the, how do we get it? It's just algebra, the rest of them. But then you notice that it's the important identity. We use the over, over again, right? We, you know, when we, when associate with a Pythagorean theory. So remember this identity will be useful, right? This identity is useful. Okay. Yeah, AB equal to four, six. All right. Uh, all right, so I'm going to move on to the next problem. Okay, so take a look at this problem first. You have a, it's also right a triangle, right? It's a right a triangle. Uh, X, O, uh, Y. Right? M, N are middle points of the legs, O, X, O, Y. Suppose X, N equals 19. And y m equals twenty two. I want to find out x y. I want to find x y. So how do you solve these type of problems? We have to use a Pythagorean theory, right? 
we have to use the Pythagorean theory. And, uh, and how many right triangles you're going to get, right? You're going to get, you, you actually have a three right triangles here. You have a three right triangle there, right? Three right triangles there. So let's assume that, uh, I'm going to, for the simplicity, I'm going to call it uh, this one, OM, uh, A, right? And uh, ON and B, right? And uh, you write down all the possible uh, identities you can get, okay? Because uh, because this is a midpoint, so this will be A, that will be B, okay? So X, Y is going to be what? Is going to be, if you know A and B, right? X and Y, this is a hypotenuse of the right triangle, so you can do too. All right, so let's see, how do we get this? Okay, the right down we are given, okay? Find out the right triangles. Yeah, write down all the identities. Right. All right, so no addition line you need to draw, just just the just just find the, the right triangle applying the Pythagorean theory, right? So the first equation you're going to get is consider this right triangle, M O Y, right? So that's A square plus two B square equals twenty two square. And that's the right triangle, uh, uh, N O X, right? That would be 2a square plus b square equals 19 square. All right. All right. Right. Okay. Then, uh, That's equation one, equation two. Right? Like we want to find the X, Y, right? So equation one plus equation two, add them together. And I got five A square, five B square equals 22 square plus 19 square. Well, this is a number, right? So at least you get A square plus B square. Right, it's get a square plus b square, 22 square plus 19 square divided by five. But that's not enough for us to find the x, y. x, y is the, by the Pythagorean theory, right? x, y square is going to be what? It's going to be two a square plus two b square, right? So that will be four. Anyway, that's fine. No, we only need to find x square plus b square. So this is going to be four over five times, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, right? So 22 square plus 19 square, then you simplify it, okay? Then you simplify and then you get, uh, then you get, uh, yeah, x times y, okay? So, Yeah, then you have an x times y, it's a square root of five of four over five, 22 square plus 19 square. And I want to tell you this is a, this is a, a equal to, I think it's good to 26. Okay, using calculator, you can figure it out. Okay, 26 squares. Okay. So that is answer. How do I know add two equations together? Well, I can I can find a square and b square each individual, 
probably I don't need it. Right? I can find a square and b square from the above uh, equations. Equation one, equation two. I can determine a and b, but I don't need it to do that. Right? Yeah, I think you can determine a and b because you can determine a square and b square from equation one and equation two. Okay? From equation one, equation two, you can, you can determine a square and b square, but there's no need to do that. All right, so move on. Here's another one. Now this time we have to draw addition lines, geometry problems. Sometimes we have to draw addition lines. Okay, you have the square with side the lens two. Okay, and the semicircle with diameter AB is constructed inside the square. And the tangent to the semicircle from C okay, intersects AD at the point E. So there's touch to the circle. Okay, we want to find the lens AE. Uh huh. You want to find the lens AE. Now, if you just look at this picture, see that do nothing, you cannot figure it out. Okay, no equation you can, can, you can write down. So if you have no clue, you know, there because sometimes you're not, you have to, I remember you have to draw addition lines, okay? Draw some lines, then you can solve the problem. Okay, how do you draw the lines? So this connecting, connect the important points. The center of the third crazy important point, okay? Then, uh, then the center to the tangent point, right? This is a right angle. This is important property. From the center to the tangent point, this line segment is perpendicular to the tangent line, okay? That's another important property about circles. Can I get some right triangles from here? I think if you, yeah, you have to get some right triangles, right? You want to apply Pythagorean theory. So, it's very natural to connect those two points. Then you get the right triangle, right? All right, so now question, how do we apply the Pythagorean theory to, uh, to those right triangles, right? So I'm going to call it X here, this side, right? A is going to be X. So if I get equation X, I solve the problem. Okay. This is a O, right? O is the center. Okay. So what we are given here is uh, E, CF Let's take a look at the picture. Yeah, we're trying to figure out, you know, the given information. Okay. I think those two triangles are congruent, let me call it, okay? This triangle and the other triangles are congruent. Do you agree? Yeah, so those two triangles are congruent because this is a right angle. So this is point F. So these two triangle congruent. So CFO is the same as the triangle CBO. 
So that's why this side also is going to be two. Okay. So EA and uh, I can this is a, this is also, this is a right angle here, right triangle, right? So I think the same, same, same here. These two triangles also can group. Those two triangle can go. The triangle O E uh, O F E is the same as the triangle okay. O uh, A E. All right. So that means here's the X. Okay. And this is a one, that's a one. And now you apply the Pythagorean the, uh, theory to any of this right triangle. Maybe you see the um, CD, uh, CDE, okay? So we can apply the right triangle. Uh, yeah, that's great. So we have this triangle. Look at the triangle CDE, okay? Look at this triangle. It is a right triangle, right? So you can apply is it can apply the uh, Pythagorean theory, right? So you will get uh, one side, this side is going to be uh, two minus X. So two minus X square plus two square equals two plus X square. Okay, then you get equation X. You get equation X. Okay. Then you solve for X, X equal to one half. 4 minus 4x four plus x squared plus 4 equals 4 plus 4x four plus x squared. Let's cancel x squared. And uh, I have a 4, 4, right? So I get a 4 equals 8x, x equal to 1 half. Okay. Yeah, because this side is also tangent. Remember, if we have a circle, right? If we have a circle, the two tangent lines, okay? And this is the center. This is always, these two angles are always the same. And if you draw the line, right? And then you do get two congruent triangles. Okay, you get two congruent triangles here. If you have a two, starting from the same point, have a two, two line, two tangent line to the circle. Okay, you have two tangent points by the symmetry. Okay, those two triangles are congruent. So those two triangles are congruent. Okay, those two triangles are congruent. Okay. Must be congruent. Okay, this is a property we use here, basically. All right, so move on. Okay, so here's another right triangle. Again, remember, we have to draw addition lines, okay? This is another right triangle. And uh, what we are given here is A, uh, E and D are the transaction points of the hypotenuse AB. So that means, that means AD equals DE equals EB, okay? And I know CD, this is seven. This is gonna be six. Uh, we should be able to determine this triangle completely. But how do you do that? All right? No idea. <laughs> so if you have no clue to, to find the, uh, yeah, if you have no clue, right? Then uh, 
they have to draw addition lines. Okay. So how can I draw addition lines? Right. What I'm trying to do is I draw horizontal line here and draw vertical lines here. Then use a the problem and solve. Why? Okay. Now those two triangles uh, are actually the same triangle. Do you agree? That can group. Why? Because AD equals EB. The, they have the same hypotenuse, the length. Those triangles first are similar, then they have the same hypotenuse. So I'm going to introduce a variable. Uh, I'm going to introduce a variable here. So this, I have to figure out the, the length of this. Okay, this side is the X. That's the Y. That'd be X, that'd be Y. Okay, I think uh, we are almost there. Another property I have to use is because a, I only use a property here, AD equals EB, right? Remember, right? AD equals EB, that's why we get two congruent triangles. But I haven't used a property, those three points are the by uh, the transaction. So DE is also equal to AD. So that, what does that mean? That means this triangle, okay, A, uh, let's, let's put uh, an, uh, a point here, okay? So AGD is similar to the triangle ACB. That's clear. Uh, because of that, you will see that AC must be equal to three times AG. Why? Just because since AB equals three times AD, okay? Just because of that, it's a ratio. So I'm going to, uh, then, then uh, this side will be two X. Similarly, this side will be two y. I think uh, uh, that's good enough. Then you apply the Pythagorean theory to the triangles, and then you what to get? You got two x squared plus y squared equals seven squared, and the two y squared plus x squared equals six squared. Okay, then you're done. Okay, then you can find what do we have to find out? You you have to find out the x, right? Because once you find the x and the y, then uh, no, you just need to find x squared plus y squared, okay? So you will get, again, you get add them together, equation one, equation two. So you have a uh, four plus one, that's a five x squared. Again, you know, five y squared equals six squared plus seven squared, okay? So you will get x squared plus y squared equals six squared plus seven squared divided by five. And you go back to the picture, x squared plus y squared is going to be, I call it, uh, how about I call the c, right? That's just c squared, okay? So that gives you c squared equals c squared plus, because by the Pythagorean theory, and then, then the, the, the hypotenuse ab is going to be three times c, okay? Because, right, so that's it. And that's a three times square root of six square plus seven square. I, I'm not going to simplify it, but we do, if you want to simplify it, you will get three square of 17, okay? It's a very bad number, but it's, it's, a, it's a ratio number. Okay. okay, so, so this problem again, you know, you need to um, draw addition lines to get more right triangles, then uh, you have to name some variables, then apply the Pythagorean theory to all these triangles. You get the equations for those variables, right? 
then you solve it and it becomes an algebraic problem. I think it's 17, it's not 13, okay? Because uh, seven square plus six square is going to be uh, 80, uh, 85. Yeah, then you divide by five. Yeah, this is going to be 85 divided by five, right? I think it's 17. Yeah, 85 divided by five. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, let's move on to the next problem. Okay, so you have a triangle. Uh, let's see uh, what we are given. Yeah, where's the problem here? I think this is, uh, I'm missing AB, okay, AB equals CD. So we have the triangle A, B, you know, A, B, uh, C, D lines, uh, line. Okay. They're line on line in order and the A, B equals C, D, okay. And the B, C is 12 points. E is not on the line and the B, E, and the C both are 10. And the parameter of triangle AE, AD is twice of the parameter of a BEC. Uh-huh, you find AB. Okay, AB is a, is a number, right? AB is a number. So what you have to do is just let AB to be X. Okay, and that also be X. Okay, and uh, just because, uh, okay, can you say, uh, can you say AE is going to be uh, 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 equal to EC or not? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we have to apply the property, uh, the triangle okay, as a parameter, right? Equals this. This is a property we have to use. And at the same time, we need a, I have to draw this in line. So then I get the right triangle, right? So this is nature idea, you know, to just draw it. And then the inside one is a, is a, is an, a, I saw this triangle and I saw this triangle. Okay. And I think because the inside ones are saw this triangle, so so clearly AE is also equal to EB. Right? So that's why I can denote it by Y and the Y. Okay. Once you have this, then you can apply uh, uh, the given information, the parameter of A. A E D, that will be, you know, Y plus Y plus X plus X plus 12, right? So that is a given information. And that is gonna be uh, twice of the parameter of it. B E C, B E C is given, right? B E C is 32, right? So this is identity you get. And after you simplify it, you got 2y plus 2x equals uh, 64 minus, yeah, 64 minus 12, okay? That'll be 52. So x plus y divided by two, and that will be uh, 26. All right, so you get the sum x plus y. Then, then apply the Pythagorean theory. You haven't applied the Pythagorean theory yet, right? 
So apply the Pythagorean theory, you will hear this is going to be six plus X, right? Okay. And uh, can you say the height, right? This is a, this is a six. I saw the other side that must be eight. I think the height must be eight, clear. The height must be eight, okay? The height is eight because six, three, four, five, yeah, six. So it's eight. So you get, you get the equation, you know, you get the equation uh, eight square plus six plus X square equals Y square. All right, and uh, from here you will get X using algebra because you have a two equations, right? And uh, you can probably can get a uh, quadratic equation. Yeah, we're almost uh, uh, done, okay? So you get from the first equation, Y is going to be 26 minus X squared, okay? And you, you get, you. You will get a linear equation, not just quadratic equation. So the uh, six square plus 12 X plus X square equals 26 square minus and two times 26 X plus X square, X square cancel out and you can find X, okay? It's a linear equation. So I'm going to, I'm going to move this term to the left-hand side, the 12 X plus two plus 20 X equals 26 square minus a square minus six square. Right. And from here you solve for X, right? You're looking for X, right? So you get uh, 12 plus two times 26, okay? And you simplify, what do you get? Uh, X is gonna be nine, right? X is gonna be nine. So, so that's the, uh, uh, yeah, that is a, uh, uh, that's the idea. So as you can see that, okay, I didn't have a time to dis discuss all kinds of problems I prepared. Okay, and uh, I probably add a uh, uh, couple more problems when I send you the uh, lecture notes. But I wish, uh, I, will, I will give you the homework assignment and uh, then, uh, then all you, yeah, you're trying to uh, finish the homework before the next week. 